Hello everybody, my name is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I am here with an unplugged mystery box unboxing. Let's jump right into it. First up, I have to say that unfortunately, while I was away on vacation, my mystery box came and the box had been ruined, not from anything unplugged did, but in transit, it had gotten something on it. The box was falling apart and it was really disgusting. So while I was away, my father opened up the box, took everything out of it, set it to the side and threw away the box. So I do have an unplugged book box here because I just got my June box, but the things that were in my mystery box are so large. They didn't actually fit back in this box. I was just going to like seal everything up and then like pretend I was opening it, but I can't because they gave me so much stuff that I can't actually like get everything in here. So this is their medium sized mystery box. Unplugged book box has this really cool feature. It's like a blind date with a book. So you get a mystery box, you go online, you take a survey about the kind of books you like, the kind of, you know, just like a personality survey. There's a large and a medium option. And I got sent the medium option after I took my online quiz. I have nothing but high hopes for this. So I have no idea what the book is. I have not looked at any of the items. I legitimately took them from the dresser where my father put them, put as much as I could into this box and didn't look at anything. So I really don't know what I have. Um, this is a blind, blind date mystery box summer. Um, they have a card here and it says Unplug began in 2018 after an idea for a book subscription box that provided bookish self-care items and usable novelty products. Each year we've done two batches of mystery type boxes. In the winter we do an advent box. This is the first time we've done them with an accompanying personality quiz to help us choose your book and products. We've had so much fun putting these together. We hope you love them. A portion of the proceeds from these boxes will be donated to the Coalition for Rainforest Nations. How do we choose our books? We did our best to understand what genre you prefer, what kind of storylines you might enjoy. We may have chosen from our stock if there was a book that matched your tastes and you were not subscribed for that box, what the box that it was featured in. Or we may have chosen a book from an online bookstore. We hope that it becomes a new favorite. Your products were chosen based on the personality quiz by choosing products and scents we thought you'd enjoy. Feel free to share your unplugged unboxing experience on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or TikTok. Make sure you tag us. It truly brightens our day and you can help small businesses and artists that we feature. Thank you for grabbing a mystery box. Please use a code for future orders. And this is from the whole Unplugged team. So I am thrilled to see what I got. Um, every month is kind of like a mystery to me. I try not to look at the spoilers, but this is really cool to be able to take a personality test and get some items. So I am going to go into the items first and then the book last. And I have to start with the one that legitimately wouldn't fit in this box. And I don't know what it is. I think it's a giant desk mouse pad. Like, look how big this thing is. It has a clip on this side that I... Stop it. Wait a minute. What? It's a button. And it has a light feature on it. Does this light up? What is it? It charges and it lights up. I'm going to charge this. I think it's a mouse pad that literally has LEDs around the edges. I'm going to charge this really quickly while we're talking and see if I can show you. Guys, I can't with this. It. I went to plug it in and then I'm like, oh, I can't actually do that because it has to remain plugged in. I'm going to turn off my ring light. You're going to see this in a second. Look at how cool this is. It's like blue and then it transitions to a light blue and then it transitions to another, oh, that's greenish, greeny teal. Like, are you, is that upside down for you? Yeah. Okay. If I can do it this way. This one starts like, and it's kind of got like, it changes colors as it goes around. Like it fades into a color. This is really, really, really cool. See, it's coming around purple. Like, are you kidding me? Now it's like rainbow. So it goes from yellow to green to, I can't even get the whole thing in frame and my lights are on, but like, it just changes colors. And it look, it's just a big library, mouse pad, desk pad, and it changes color. <gasps> okay. And then it goes solid. There's a button down here. So it goes solid red, solid blue, solid green. That's so cool. I wonder if this was in a YA box. 
and because I don't get YA, I didn't know, but this is really, really, really neat. Okay, I'm gonna unplug it, but like, because I'm just gonna stare at it the whole time, and I'm gonna turn my ring light back on. They provided a cord. They provided a cord. This is how you know I didn't look at it ahead of time because I had no idea. I have a mushroom. It's just a blue shroom. Is it supposed to do something? Uh, stop it. There's a pen inside. You like, I was like, I could hear something. So you push on the top and it's just a little blue mushroom. And then you take off the top, push out the pen and it's, it's a mushroom pen. I'll probably give it to a niece or nephew, but that is adorable. I have Dragonfly in, which is Gilmore Birth Girls. Um, Sleepy Hollow Tea. I just got something in my adult box that's gonna be perfect for this. The tea inside looks beautiful. Then I have this item. Give me a second. It's a little storage bin. Nothing is quite what it seems. Is this, remember it's only a game? No, so this is not like Caraval, Stephanie Garber. This is Night Circus. Uh, I don't love Night Circus, but you know what I do need? Because I've been using a book box box for like my vitamins and everything for the morning that is stored down on the bottom shelf of my bookshelf. I can put them in this and it'll look way cuter. And I can use this and it goes in this way. So you'll never see the other stuff. I'm going to get into this because I see a candle and you know how much I love their candles. The Ravens, Lichen and Limestone, still great. Black Coral, Cedar and Moss, the Ravens. This has to be like the Raven Cycle, maybe? Oh, this smells like teenage men's locker room after they get done whatever sport they're playing or like they have to go back from gym class and it's, they, it's like Axe Body Spray. I'd have to be in the right mindset, but nice woodwick in there. A very pretty label. I'm never, ever going to be mad at a candle. And then the only other thing that I see, which you can never go wrong with, looks to be a notebook and a set of pens. So let me open these and we'll see what they are. But I can always use a notebook, literally always. And pens are never a bad thing to have. So let's see what we got here. Cherries, limes, and grapes. I wonder if they're colored ink. This is the smallest point I've ever seen. They're black. Look at that. Like this is a hypodermic needle level tiny, but I'm very excited. And then we have Spirit Veil, vale, Arch, Car Arch Carnival, Elsewhere. Elsewhere. That's a book, isn't it? A planner, but also a notebook. So it does have like the date and time and like memo and stuff up in the corners. I like it because I have a lot of meetings with a lot of people and I usually date them. So this is perfect. I will absolutely use this. It's a hard cover. It's just the right amount of like size because I never finish these. So that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And the pets that go with it. I love that. So that's a lot of items. Seven. It's seven. I can't count. And then the book, which is like our summer theme. And it says, hello, sunshine. I feel very sunshiny, so that's very appropriate. It's a paperback. And I'm curious because I get all of their adult books, and I would have, I will assume that I'm getting an adult book, that they might have had to buy one because I've gotten all of their things. So I'm curious what they would send me. I said I've been really liking romance, but also mystery thriller. I said that I like tea, candles, notebooks, stationery. Like they nailed it. Like all of the items are very much like results of my quiz. I'm opening the back. It looks to be like a thrillery back, this color. What is this? It's Sin Eater by Megan Campisi. Pomegranate. Is this a Hades and Persephone's retelling? Riveting, exhilarating, great storytelling, reminiscent of The Handmaid's Tale. Too close to home, my friends. Too close to home. This is a dark, thrilling page turner that turns a dystopian eye on the past in an unnerving contemporary way. How do you find your voice when you're forbidden to speak? I will cry. I'm not happy with the world right now, and this seems like it's going to be very much about that. For the crime of stealing bread, 14-year-old May receives a life sentence. She must become a sin eater, a shunned woman 
whose fate is to hear the final confessions of the dying, eat ritual foods symbolizing their sins, and thereby shoulder their transgressions to grant their soul access to heaven, orphaned and friendless, apprenticed to an older sin eater who cannot speak to her. May must make her way in a dangerous and cruel world where she barely understands. When a dear heart, a dear heart appears on a coffin, like an actual animal dear heart appears on a coffin of a royal governess who did not confess to the dreadful sin it represents, May must find out who placed it there and why. An extraordinary lyrical feat of imagination, Sin Eater is a story of a world where treason and secrets abound within a corrupt, violent court, and a shunned young woman must dis- uncover a long-buried secret that has resurfaced with a vengeance. Think a cross between Margaret Atwood and Umberto Eco with this one. It's a phenomenal read. Dark and evocative. So it does seem like it's YA, but it does also seem like something that I'm going to love. With this cover, like the very like renaissance looking cover, I probably would not have picked this up because it is like more of a it seems like it's more historical. I probably wouldn't have picked it up. Legitimately all stuff that I will use that I'm excited about that my quiz told them I liked and then they really listened. And here's the thing. When you buy these boxes, just subscription boxes in general, everybody gets the same thing. It's kind of one, two, three. They go down like a line. Every box gets this item. Every box gets this item. They package it in neatly, nicely, safely. However, these boxes, they legitimately look at every survey every personality quiz, and they have to tailor make each box to each person who orders. That is time consuming. In some situations, it costs them more money if they are ordering a book for you, which I don't know if this was in one of their book boxes. I'm going to assume probably not. It looks like it was like a bargain book because it does have a dot on it, which is fine. They're going above and beyond and buying new books for the people that fill out these forms. This is something that they went out and got extra to include for me based on what I like, which I think is amazing for like a corporate small business, you know, who has to still make a profit in a world where everything is more expensive and shipping and supply chains are ridiculous. To be able to offer something like this that takes more manpower, that requires more work on their half, but provides a really cool experience for the people that subscribe to it or buy them, I think is fantastic. I'm really, really impressed. Unplugged is great. You guys know I love Unplugged, so it's, it's no surprise. But genuinely, I think this is a really cool opportunity to gift somebody something like this or do it for yourself as a treat and let them tailor make things to you. Like not every box I get has every single novelty item that I want or use or, you know, is my style. But with this quiz, and this personality test, I was able to get things that I like and will use and are my style. So a big thank you to the Unplugged team. That is going to be it for this video. Let me know if you would ever do something like this or have done something like this. I've seen options where it's the book is a mystery, um, but not where they take into account all the items as well. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Leave me a comment. A Prophecy Nash is coming out in fall. If you haven't read my book yet, now's a great time to do it. That's going to be it for this one. If you guys liked it, give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, friends. <music>